Alright guys, we're back with another episode of Going Down the Road. That's the new name of it, Going Down the Road. Anyway, we had a question from several people, and that's what collar do we recommend for pet dogs? And I will tell you guys, you either need to get the 300 or the 280. When it says on there, low to medium, da -da 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 -da, I don't know where they come up with that. Um, the only time I really would recommend the IQ is if you have a teeny tiny dog that's too small. To disengage that continuous button. We've got a video about that because you're not going to be using the continuous, certainly not on a dog under 20 pounds. And if you're inevitably going to hit it by accident, because I couldn't even not hit it by accident. So, anyway, you're going to get the 300 or the 280. If it's a little bit higher drive dog, please, I am begging you, do not get the 1900. The box and strap on that. Do not get the Sure Stim 700. The premise behind that collar was, oh, when these hunters with big hands like King Kong have gloves on, they can tell that they're hitting the button. Okay, newsflash, you can tell by whether you're hitting the button or not by whether the dog is reacting or not. So that's, to me, the most bizarre concept I've ever heard of. Do not get that one, and that was the big collar too. Atrocious. So you guys don't realize it at this point in time, but the smaller is better. Not in every circumstance, but in this one. Bye you guys.